Who wins the battle of grids? Photoshop versus Affinity Photo. In Photoshop, if you want to display a grid, go to View, down here, and Show, Show Grid. You can also go to the Properties panel, and you've got here Rulers and Grids. Click here to display the grid. If you want to change a grid, just go to Photoshop and Preferences, and down here to Grid, or the Edit menu and Preferences on the PC. So select that. You can change the color. You've got magenta, yellow, etc., or custom colors. You can also set a grid line every 100 pixels or 200 pixels, etc. You can change it there, and you can see it change as you enter that value. You can also introduce subdivisions. So you've got subdivisions there, a slightly fainter grid. You can also set it to dashes and dots. Affinity Photo, simply go to View and down to Show Grid. So exactly the same as Photoshop, Show Grid. However, it has got View and down here to Grid and Access Manager. Grid and Access Manager, and you've got the basic one, automatic, advanced. There's a lot of different grids here. You've also got presets, so you can set a preset up something that's not available in Photoshop. Automatic, but I put it onto basic, you can set here 64, you can say 100 pixels, exactly the same as Photoshop. You also set up divisions. However, what you can also do is you can change the color of the grid lines to anything like the custom. You can also change the opacity, a feature that's not available in Photoshop. You've also got subdivisions, which you can change the color as well. So you can go for green or red, etc., And also change the opacity for those as well. There's also an advanced section. So advanced section, click there. And then you suddenly got isometric, 2.2 to 1 isometric, diametric, oblique. So if I select that one, you can see straight away, you've got isometric. You can change the divisions. You've got gutters, so you can turn around and say, 20, so you can get a nice gutter there for your grid. You can also select other ones, oblique, you can see there, trimetric right, and many, many, also two axis custom, so you can actually modify one axis. You've got the second axis as well, you can tweak the angle. You've also got various axis setups available as well, and all the color settings, and also, additionally, you've got cube, so you can modify that as well. And you can see as you change that, nice three-dimensional feature to modify. And run through some of these other settings as well. So I think in this case, Affinity Photo wins hands down in terms of grids. Also, it's got great snapping features, exactly the same like with Photoshop. Things snap perfectly. So Affinity Photo, for me personally, is the winner with the vast range of different grids available to create all kinds of unique designs. So what do you feel? Do you feel that Affinity Photo is better for grids? Do you think it's better in Photoshop? How do you use these things? Please let me know in the comments below. Always great to know whether Photoshop wins or Affinity Photo wins. Thank you much.